Well, hello everybody. It's the Sir 98 here, as you guys know or have seen on Twitter lately. I got Windows 10. I don't know if you know this now. I got Windows 10. It, if you haven't heard about it, it literally just came out today. It's Microsoft is Microsoft's new operating system for their PCs and Windows. So let's go take it, jump right into it. Um, it. As you can see by the layout of all everything, you do get your programs back. You do get your office if you already have it. You get every single thing back. It's like just turning on your computer tomorrow with the same old operating system. You get everything back. But, now let's look at the different changes. So I could, as you can see here, this is all highlighted in dark. I don't know if we could change the taskbar yet with the color. I'm not too sure. It, the operating system literally came out at 12 o'clock a.m. today, and it's now 5:19 p.m. So let's check it out. Okay. Um, the difference between well, it's basically like Windows 7. If you look at the taskbar, basically like it is. But they brought it back. They brought back the Start menu. Now, when you get a good look at the Start menu, it does look like Windows 8 a little bit, and it is still is Windows 8. But it's in a hybrid form of into it's like in built in a hybrid form into Windows 10 instead of going to a different screen and having all everything all over here covering up everything else. Y you know you don't you don't want that because it's a real pain in the ass. Um, so this is basically the start menu. It's a lot better. You get to see your apps, your live apps, and stuff like that. And why was Justin Bieber on there? I do not follow him. Um, you got your games here and everything like that. Um, CNN, I, no news. I think that's CNN. I don't know. And of course, your office and everything right here, and your games and whatever you had pinned. And you can pin more stuff if you really want to. So, and over here you got your most used Google Chrome, and of course, Game Capture HD and Open Broadcast Software, which I am recording this video right now. I, I do highly recommend getting Open Broadcast Software. It is amazing. It really is. Go down, go download it right now if you have to, or if you want to. Um, and of course, here's the name of your computer. Settings. System. Of course, everything's same in the settings. Oh yeah, settings area. I didn't even realize I went into it. Um, the settings area. If you guys notice from Windows 8.1, it is not. It's it's fine. It's honestly. It's, it's, um, what do you call it? I'm having a blank right now. Excuse me. It's not, like, color vibrant anymore. It's not, like, flashy and vivid and everything. It's just plain and simple. You got your update security, privacy, ease of, ease of access, time and language, system, and so on and so forth. So let's take a look up, a look at update and security. Very basic. Windows update, Windows Defender, and all that stuff recovery and you know so on and so forth system everything all right here everything you want tablet mode which um probably doesn't work on my PC I wish but okay personalization is right here if you want to do background stuff like that actually I like this one I'm just going with this one but anyway so that's it for settings now there's a new area right here, it's called the notification down here. You click that and you get notifications. This is the Windows feedback, I will do that later, but you have tablet mode, connect, note, all settings, location, quiet hours, which is probably like a do not disturb on iPhones, just shut your notifications off for as long as you want to, I think, and of course VPN. And this is Cortana. Hello Cortana. Cortana, Cortona, really? Okay. Um, she gives you the weather. She's basically like the Sierra on iPhone or the S Voice on Android. Notebook, everything you want. Reminders, you know. And of course, provide feedback. And if you want to speak to her, you just click this and ho and I don't know. Hello, Cortana. How are you doing? Hello. What? Okay. Um, 
yes, the operating system does have a couple bugs, bugs in it, but because it literally just came out. But let's just focus. Just focus. Um, back to the um, start menu. File Explorer. Everything's fine. Now we're in the File Explorer now. Okay, the File Explorer is more like Windows 8, as you can see. It has Windows 8 layout and all that stuff. This PC and everything like that has the all same layout. But like the animations look a little bit more cartoonish, but not really realistic. But that's fine with me. I really don't have a problem with it. And if you are going to use Windows 10 on a laptop, I already installed mine on my laptop, and you'll see your battery icon around here. You click on that, and there should be a power saving option, which is really, really nice, because my laptop battery sucks. About 25% uh, of it is degraded, and it's just terrible. Okay. Now, let's... What should we do? There's one thing I want to use. Oh, okay. All apps right here is just basically everything that you have on your computer, every single app, the little thing. It's basically like all programs in Windows 7 and in Windows 8 if you had Classic 8 Start, Classic Start 8 for Windows 8.1, RT or 8.1. Task View is a new thing. This is basically like, Task View is down here. Sorry about that. My cut out. Task view is basically a new thing here. It's like double tapping on the iPhone or going into like apps that are running in the background, like open broadcast system. You could close that up by hitting the X button, but I'm not going to do that because that will stop my recording of this video. So, yeah, it's right here or new desktop. I don't want to. No, I'm not because on my luck, something bad will happen. Uh, you could do that if you really want to yourself. Now, the fun part, Spartan, or no, Edge. So we come up into here, and it's very beautiful, the home screen, when you first get into it, you got your news of the line that got killed, which was terrible, you got your baseball, you got your weather, you got the teen, got arrested or something, um, you got a Democrat, Repo a congressman guy, China, you know, you got everything here. There's the weather, and there's the big news, I guess. Now, for you, those who've used an Explorer in the past, you, you know it sucks. It's slow. It's they don't support it anymore, and yeah. So let's go to one of my favorite websites. It's called TheTechGame.com. It's all about news and everything with gaming and stuff like that. Be serious. Microsoft is looking at PC to Xbox One streaming. So I just b bought my Elgato for nothing. Okay, that makes perfect sense. That's nice. Um, uh, just so I know problems. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. As you can see here, though, very, very nice. Really fast and everything. Let's go to another website. Let's go to Bing and see how it loads up. Let's use Bing, and then we'll go to Google. There's a panda, and he's moving right now. Okay, let's see... What am I thinking? Let's look up a car for Rari. Let's see how the details are in the images. They should be a lot better. Yes, the details are a lot better. Ooh, that's a nice rear end. Yep, so that's... Well, it's a lot more faster. Let's go to Google now. See how it is. A lot faster, split second. Probably faster than Google Chrome, actually. Maybe. I don't know. Test that out later. And of course, details amazing and stuff like that loads instantly. For me, at least. A lot faster than it was with the uh, original Internet Explorer. And another thing with security, they up the security a lot. I saw it on Windows.com or Microsoft.com slash Windows. If you look under Windows 10, they upped the security tenfold and made it a lot better. Probably less updates coming out for it because they did the whole security thing in the whole, uh, whole operating system. And, yeah. That's, and so on and so forth with the security. Now let's go into, what did I want to go into? Another thing here. Uh, this, th now the disappointments with Windows 10. Um, when I was on my laptop here, the view was like 
this. Now, if, I don't know about you guys, but if you... Here's the problem. I don't know if you noticed it. You cannot see how much space you have left underneath it. I thought that problem was fixed like that. You can't change it whatsoever. And to look how much space you have left, you have to hover over your drives and it's a problem like that. But if you ever come into an encounter with that, all you do is right click, go to view, and you go to tiles. It brings it back to how it was on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 RT and 8. Okay. Another thing that's a real pain in the ass with this is where is it? It is quick access recent files now why do I need this all up here I I don't know about you guys but I'm not a big fan of this and if you get rid of and if you try to get rid of those delete them I'm not gonna go away they stay there so I just basically keep that arrow up there luckily when you open up file folder again that drop down arrow does not drop down again so that's good that's personal and nick kicking thing so it's a it's for me it's a pain um okay now when you were now when I was installing on my PC if you have a graphics card Nvidia AMD or something like that you are gonna have to reinstall your drivers and everything cause you will see everything's all zoomed up and stuff like that now the thing that glitched out when I was on GeForce getting the driver and everything installed I don't know if it was cause the digital operating system didn't like it or whatever but it basically glitched out and it said can't install and stuff like that but an easy fix was just restarting it and then I saw it was still zoomed in then it went black screen real quick and then it just went zoomed all out and was back to normal a little bit glitch there and if and you probably and what do you call it when you first log on to it or log on to Windows 10 any day you want to when you first log on to it it does kinda go black out like it goes in out like only once that's still a bug it's still a little bit it's eh to me I mean I I'm not a big I don't know why it does I don't know why it does that it kinda bothers me it does but this operating system literally just came out today not even 24 hours ago it just came out today so yeah one in the end Windows 10 is good there are many more features that I have to find out oh I just remembered when you click on a tile if you noticed it does not go full screen and everything like that it just goes into window mode if you want to go full screen you go like that now with Windows 8.1 RT and 8 it would just go up the go f full screen like this and you would have to go click like that but you could just double click and it will be fine Alright, sorry about that, my cut out again. Now, all you just do, instead of going full screen like that, and going into another desktop area, you'll be like that, like Windows 7. Just, you don't have to go back and forth, to like this, all the way up in the corner, desktop to 8. The whole pain in the ass thing. Um, what do you call it? It does run a lot more smoother, faster, whole operating system compared to a 7, 8, and 8.1. In my opinion, on my laptop, it runs a lot faster. But on my gaming computer, right here, I don't notice anything. I really don't. Only with the web browser. That's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Windows 10 is an A+, plus for me. I highly recommend getting it. You get all your files back everything it's just like a new day on your computer any old it's just like an any old any old day on your computer you get everything there I highly recommend it it is like Windows 7 get it get it right now you it's free until June 
June 2016. You got a year before you have to pay for it. I highly recommend it. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and please, please share. It really means a lot. And also, please subscribe and like. Just share this video out there on Twitter or with your friends or on Google Plus or whatever. And, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.